It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll see Robbie Anderson. He's been torching secondaries all season, now closing in on 1,200 yards. It's the Bengals and the Ravens under the lights on Sunday night. We're the Ohio River in the hills of Kentucky just to our right. We welcome you in to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And CD, you look at the Bengals in this matchup. They know coming in, they've got to be at their best because they're facing one of the better overall defenses in the NFL. And this is not one of the better offenses around in terms of running the football. So they understand that they're going to be put to the test a bit. The big plays in the run game, they haven't been there of late. So maybe that means we'll see them shake things up a little bit. Some RPOs, some touch passes, some draw plays, anything to try and gain a little bit of momentum. one out the first drive will start at the 25 here come the Bengals now to take over bringing this crew out it's someone known for his big arm since he entered the league back in 2016 Jacoby Brissett well he did go two and two in the last ball game well actually he went two two and one with the one being the victory yeah that's the bottom line there but wasn't it funny at practice he threw one when we were watching through an interception and the defense got out of a little bit, good-naturedly. But they're letting him know, you got to cut down those interceptions. We can't bail you out all the time. Yeah, two touchdowns, two picks. But as you said, they got the win in that effort last week. Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 35. A huge play there right off the bat. 42 yards. That's some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw, July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now Brissett. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Moses. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Brissett. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance there on the next game. And as we check the next-gen stats, that play lasted just 2.7 seconds from beginning to end. Just not enough time to throw the football. Had just the one play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. They have one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. So here come the Ravens with their first look on offense. And they'll be led out by the second-year man from the Ohio State University, Justin Fields. And he is, without any question at all, the focal point of this offense. Had an unbelievable game running the football last time out. And we're not just talking about little scampers here and there for five or ten yards. We're talking about big, long, explosive field flips. And that's something this defense is well aware of. On first down, it's Fields. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Yeah. 
They'll go option on second down, right side. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 18. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengal offense on their way out as we look at the playoff race in the AFC. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Moster. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. From the 28, it's second and five. Once again, it's Moster. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. From the gun, here's Brissett. And this is going to be incomplete. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Desmond King back deep. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. You know, Charles, season winding down, time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. What do you see these guys going after either in the draft or free agency? Well, with the season that they're having, just about every position is up for grabs right now. No one is really safe, but the focal point's always the quarterback position. And he may be auditioning to try and stay with his own current team. I think he's auditioning for the rest of the league to try and find a spot because I think this team is looking for a new quarterback. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. From the gun, here's Fields. He'll get this one to cut complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they could make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. The left-footed Kevin Huber set to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Bengals set to take over. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. 
And defensively, Baltimore's in a dime look here on third. Here's Brissett. Over the middle, complete. It's Hines. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That play might not seem like much yardage-wise, but when you look at it maybe having to go three and out, put the football again, it becomes an important conversion. Now the question, can they keep it going from here? So first and 10 now from the 30. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he's got a Bengals first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. On first down, they go with Mostert again. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Second and five now. Reset. And he whips that one incomplete there. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here's Brissett. Flushed out, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Julian O'Quara drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And here's Trenton Gill now. On the return, it's King. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now an option play on second down. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. To throw his fields. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 41, Fields. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 28. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. 
Well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Fields now to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. That reception, his 600th NFL catch. Congratulations, quite the accomplishment. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Well, the Bengals' offense getting set and ready to go again here. On first and ten, it's Mostert. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. On second and nine, Brissett. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. On third down, Brissett. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Now here's Trent and Gill on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They begin with a run by Barkley. Able to slither by. Got a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Holding offense. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. And they finally get him down at the other 46. 
A big play there on the option. 46 yards on the ground. Well, with Saquon Barkley, you often think of the elusiveness, the quickness, but he can definitely run with purpose as well, and he's able to shed a tackler there and continue on. Yeah, and this is most definitely the guy you want running the football when you need the tough yards on third down. And he moves the chains and then some as he shakes off that first contact. And as they said in the 70s, he just keeps right on trucking. And they run the option here on first and 10. Six yards there on the keeper at second down. Here's Fields. Smith catches left side. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 28. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. On first down, they go option to the right. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And the Bengals grab it. There he goes, left side. Try. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Cincinnati touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They'll start with the option. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Fields. Throw left side, complete to Cup. It'll be a gain of five, third and seven now. So many ways to win the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and seven. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Bengals take over first and 10. To throw is Brissett. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll run right side with Mostert. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all.
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still third down. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Throwing, Brissett. Working the sideline here. Did he get the feet in? Yes, they say that he did. Nice job tapping both of them down. That third down conversion, good for 23. Yeah, that's a pretty throw right there. It's man coverage on the left side of the field. And this is some really good footwork by the receiver. Able to create some space at the top of his route. And the ball's delivered right on time. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Off the play fake, here's Brissad. He'll swing this out to Mostert. Able to avoid him at the 40. And yeah, he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Our score, 10-3 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They hand it off to Mostert. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Bengals bring out their punter now. He's been terrific so far. He gets this away, it's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Throwing again on second down. Fields. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap. Fields. Going up top for Cup. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Here's Kevin Huber now. He's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Forty-five yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. A first down throw for Brissett. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. 
After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Brissett now. And they'll get this on the screen to Moster. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. On first and 10, Brissad. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Second down and 10. On second down, Mostert. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. Play the second quarter. Next, a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Ravens. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. No return here for Wilson. It's a touchback. It'll come out to the 25. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline. They drive it right down the field coming out of the half. From the 29, Fields. And finding the tight end, Hooper. These guys have caught it four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Fields. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. And that is a historic run for our partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16 or 17 game schedule. Now his name will be forever linked with the best runners to ever play at that position. Field's going to keep it once more. 
And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Holding offense. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. They'll run the option right here on first down. Fields hit and the ball is loose. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well and nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of executing the game plan you brought in. But I'll guarantee you, they didn't draw that play up on the whiteboard at halftime. They're fortunate to retain possession. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Throwing on second and eight. Fields, and complete right side to Cook. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what, it brings up third down. Now Fields steps away to his left. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 21. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Up the middle with Barkley. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Back to throw, Fields. Complete. Smith has it. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And they'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. Got a man. It's McBride complete. And he will have a Ravens first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. But we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. It really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal from 28 yards out. The kick by Gold is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Must get the ball back for us. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They'll get this into the hands of Moster. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Holding offense. 
So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now Brissett. The pass underneath. Here's Hines with it. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Throwing on second and long. Brissett. Man open. That's Anthony Schwartz. And he'll pick up the 15. It's all game to third down. Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Brissett. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And brought down, but the juke, a very nice juke, gets him the first down yardage there. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Brissett again. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, Brissett. On the out route, he's got Mostert. Here's Brissett. He's there, one out for Anderson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. On second down, there's the option going left. And this one goes no. Losing yardage back at the 22. That second down play gets a minus four. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see him play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Throwing on third down, Fields. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Here's Kevin Huber now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. Brissett on first down. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. To throw, Brissad. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And a good run here as he'll run the way down to the 40-yard line. 
10 yards there on a Bengal first. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. First down, Brissett. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Out of bounds on the 34 yard line. It's a game of five. On the handoff, this is Moster. And he'll go down at the 28. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there in that play. I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Throwing again, Brissett on second and ten. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. He handed it off there, but I don't really know if he had kept it or tried to do anything else if it would have mattered. Yeah, it's not always a wrong read when a play gets stacked up. Sometimes they're just at the line of scrimmage with just too many bodies to maneuver. And as a result, now they're looking at a fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop him a yard shy. He needed two. He only got one. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call. And the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Fields now to throw. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. Here's Fields. Fields hit and the ball is loose. And fortunately he's able to reel it back in, but it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it, they were already within the shadow of the goalposts. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Here's Kevin Huber now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It's taken to the 26. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Brissett. This is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, here's Brissad. 
And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And got his man complete. And he'll be ridden out of bounds all the way down at the 15-yard line. So they will wave off the flag and let the completion stand. Really great job by the receiver fighting through all the contact and still coming down with the football. All that great work and practice being put into the touchdown. George Kittle with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. But that makes this a two-score ball game. And, you know, the way this thing has been going, Charles, two scores kind of feels like three or four scores. Yeah, that's a great observation. It's been a heck of a battle, hasn't it? Points have been at a premium throughout this game. So you have to wonder, is this going to be too much for them to overcome? The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And the offense for the Ravens returns to the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. On first down, it's Fields. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Now it's Fields. It's caught, Smith. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Holding offense. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. To the air again, Fields. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. To throw is Fields. To Barkley on the check down. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. From the gun on third down, Fields. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. And he is going to have a Ravens first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. These two teams met in Cincinnati earlier in the year with the Bengals coming out on top. So a win here in Cincinnati would give them the season sweep to zip. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On the option right, it's Fields. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals' 35. 
Fields to throw on third and one. Complete. Smith has it. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. On first and ten, here's Fields. And that'll be incomplete. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Now Fields. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This from 54 yards away. The kick by Gold is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try to pin them back there. The tough one there, they certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last timeout when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Second down, here's Mostert again. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The Bengals go down to a knee in the victory formation. Down to a knee one, and that should just about do it. So this will end the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now see, I, I only like one game ball. You're, you're, like handing game out, ball. you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but, yeah, I, but, but I... But I like where we're going with this. Uh, you say one to uh, represent, yeah. like the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... Oh, I thought I was the only child. You, you get a game ball child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So for the Bengals, the win here in Week 18 gives them a pivotal 11th win on the year, running their final mark to 11-6. And, and now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, this loss will be the capper to a dismal 4-13 campaign. And this front office will have plenty of work to do in the draft and through free agency to turn this ship around.